What's up? So a student asked me how you can edit multiple MIDI clips simultaneously. Now, unfortunately, it's right now we don't have that option uh, built in. Um, it's a highly requested feature. I hope Ableton will add it uh, in the near future. But there is a workaround and there's also a new Max for Live device that allows you to do that. So first of all, the workaround. Here I have a simple beat and just a, a bass line. Nice. Now let's say I want to add chords to it. Right here I have a track with, some, with a sound. And I want to add some chords to it, but I want to see the bass line while I add the chords. So I can uh, click inside the clip of the bass line, uh, kit command A to select all the notes, command C to copy them, and then I can go and create a clip in the chords track. And let's make it two bars. And I can click uh, right here in the beginning to place my playhead, the orange one, and hit command V to paste all the notes of the bass, and now I can simply hit zero to deactivate the notes. So they're not, they're deactivated, I can still see them, I can start putting in my own notes for the chords uh, while still seeing the notes of the bass. If the notes of the bass are in the same octave as the notes that the, of the instrument that you're trying to sequence, you can simply move them up or down using shift and up and down arrow keys. Uh, it's a very useful technique if you want to see what's happening on the other tracks while sequencing your current track. Now, there is a new Max for Live device that actually allows you to do uh, just that in kind of its own editor. So this is from uh, Chaos Culture and you can download it from Isotonic Studios, a really great company, makes a bunch of Max for Live devices, all amazing stuff. It does cost uh, around, uh, I would say, 20 bucks, but uh, if you're looking for this feature, uh, definitely worth it. So I'm gonna create a clip here in the chords. Let's make it two bars, and I'm gonna go back. Here is the device, very simple. I'm gonna click Edit. I'm gonna select which clips I want to edit. Let's select all three of them this, this, and the chords. Excellent. I'm going to hit confirm. It's going to open up this editor, and here I can see all my notes from all the clips. Right now I'm focusing on the chords, and I can edit the chords. Let's add in a few notes here. Uh, as you can see, you have all the different options that you would get in the regular MIDI editor. You can change the grid size, you can change the loop length, uh, quantize, do everything that you need to do. Nice, and I can go to edit the drums, I can go to edit the bass, and of course everything will reflect uh, under the uh, clips themselves. Excellent, uh, nice. Maybe we'll uh, sequence this. Uh, let me fast forward so it won't take up much time. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so this is Multi-Clip Editor from Chaos Culture. Really great solution for multi-clip editing. Uh, cost about 20 bucks, but of course you can also use the workaround by copying the notes to the clip that you're currently working on and deactivating them. Okay, catch you next time.